And also, there was the fact that we felt we were making a difference. I've always been an adrenaline junkie, but trust me, there's no high to be had like the feeling that in some small way you're making a difference, especially if you're working for an organization that you care about and whose ideals you believe in. And this was very important for us. But things perhaps uh, inevitably weren't quite that simple. We wandered around with missionary zeal, having kids point guns in our faces, but we weren't doing it alone. We were protected at times by a battalion, which means about 500 armed Kenyan soldiers. Now, they were armed in order not only to protect the logistics bases and our houses and stuff where we lived, but also to protect the disarmament centers if and when any of these kids, any of the child soldiers chose to disarm. If there was no way of protecting ex-combatants from the local population, then as soon as they handed their guns in, then the local villagers would just come and carry out some act of revenge or retribution. And we had to do something to protect them. Now, it's no coincidence that the Kenyans had been given the hardest area to protect in Sierra Leone, and if it weren't for their professionalism, discipline, and bravery, I would not be standing here today talking to you. Um, they were all good, good guys. So we were doing pretty well. A thousand kids have disarmed, and we're thinking we're going to do all right. But perhaps, with retrospect, we were living on borrowed time. As although the junior rebels were quite into the peace process, if nothing else, because we were going to give them money every time they handed in a gun, money which came from the World Bank, and if the thousand guns that were handed in to us, every time a gun was handed in, I'd take the rifle and I'd bend the barrel of the gun between two branches of a tree, take out a sledgehammer, and destroy the trigger mechanism, knowing that whatever else happened, that gun was not going to be used again. And to my way of thinking, $200 from the World Bank seemed pretty good value for money for taking those guns off the streets. But the senior rebels, they liked the peace process as well because they were now members of the government. But it was the middle-ranking warlords on the ground, the guys who enjoyed the power of life and death in the areas they controlled and generally who would take the prettiest local girls as their bushwives. These were the guys who had a real issue with what we were doing. If they were unarmed, uneducated ex-rebels with loads of enemies, then life was not going to be good for them. And sadly, on the 1st of May 2000, the rebels turned on the United Nations. 